If you ever want to know how to just stab an engine by yourself, all right, get late Saturday night, you're just like, F it, I just want to get it done, and you ain't got no help, we're going to put that engine in there. And I'm going to do it by myself, and I'm going to show you, to walk you through the process, tell you exactly how to do it. And it can be done by yourself. You just got to slow down, take your time, one move at a time, and then we can get it done. So I'll show you how. Let's do it. Let's do it. I got my motor mounts done. I just got them in here loose. I don't have them completely tied down. Make life easy on yourself. Cross members in place. My new bushings on the tranny. I got my new clamshells painted, ready to go. We're gonna go side shot from here because I don't have as much room as I kind of really need to get her in here. So we're gonna kind of come in at an angle. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever used uh, engine hoist before, but they don't turn like a normal thing does okay so i've got to get this swung around and in so it's going to look cat kind of cattywampus but we're going to get this done i got to have her up we got to get this quite high and you're going to need it at an angle this is this engine is sitting at a pretty good angle and that's what you, what you need to get past over the cross member and into the transmission tunnel and then we'll use the Jack to go underneath the transmission pan, basically level it out once we get it in place. Right, like I was saying, we're gonna have to kinda fishtail this around to get it where we want it. Coming in close to the chassis, and then you get the feet kinda where you want it, and then you're gonna have to bring it around. And you might have to play with it a little bit, and you're gonna need, you know, back and forth a couple times. Make sure your floor is clean because these things don't like to, they don't like to scooch on dirty floors. Okay, now I don't know if you guys know about these things, but I actually have air over hydraulic controls on this hoist. And I don't have to do this by hand. All right. I don't know if you guys ever use one of these, but this is. This is the shit right here. And all I'm trying to do is get her tall enough to get her over the frame. Okay. And we're going to go nice and slow. And she's going to bounce around a little bit. She's going to, she's going to wiggle whack a little bit. But it's just a matter of, I'm tracing this in at an angle just a little bit at a time. Okay. All right, so now comes the fun part. Now comes the wiggling. All right. So I know I need to come down just a hair since we're past the frame. And this is where you got to be really careful. Righty, tidy, lefty, loosey, okay? So we're just going to let down a hair just enough to get it past the lip on the firewall. That's pretty close. Maybe just a little bit more. Okay. Pass the lip on the firewall, okay? Let's bring her around. Remember, this is just we're just doing it by ourselves. We're just getting to where we want her to go. We're just moving a little bit of time. Just like this. All right. Now we can go down a little bit farther. All right, we can come around. All right. Stay. All right. Okay. Now we're getting pretty close. Now comes the part where we're probably going to need the floor jack. I want to get the snout of the transmission over the cross member. That's what I'm looking, that's what I'm fighting for right now. Just a hair, just a little bit, because I have to clear clamshells for the motor mounts. I have to clear the clamshells on the motor mounts. Okay, getting close. Now I need to bring the transmission end around. 
There we go. That's what I wanted. Well, what do you know? There we go. Lift her back up here. Knock that mount around a little bit. Since we got one in. There we go. Since this one is loose, we'll jostle her around a little bit. Get that where she wants to go. We'll put her back down. Boom. Okay, well, we're going to have to jiggle on this a little bit. Get her in place. Take my old fashioned crowy bar. And yes, you might have to use the crow bar to get it to pop into place, but it's an age old practice right here, boys. Well, you know, boom. That's why they make them pointed. So they'll go through when you have to. Nut on the back sides. And then the tranny bolt. And you have just now installed your first engine into your truck. So if you're still here, like, share, and subscribe, smash that button, hit that bell, tell your friends. Check out LocalBuckStuff.com. Y'all have a great day, because great day today. Could be an installed motor tomorrow. Y'all be good.